Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the most asked question that is, you know, explaining about your experience or explaining about your tableau experience. Now, this is one very important question that will, you know, set the tone for your next questions that will come in the interview. And often, you know, many candidates have suffered, you know, in explaining this. Now, let us see what is the best approach that we can do. I'll also show you a sample example. So let us get started. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So one of the best and the most recommended approach by many industry experts is using this star method to answer this type of question. Okay. So remember, interviewer would like to know what you have done, how you have done, what was the challenge you have faced all of that he would like to know in your explanation so we can use a star method star means you know explaining about the situation talk, talking about the tasks what are the actions that you have taken and what is the result of that situation means describing the context of your experience like how many years of experience you have you know what was the role of your project and that will you know briefly say uh, you know like say introduction part of your project second one would be task explaining the specific task or a problem you were responsible like in the entire project what were you responsible for what was the goal of your project what challenges did you face now remember there is no project you know that will go without any challenges now it is our duty or it is our responsibility to identify what are the challenges that you have faced in that project or you know how will you tell that you know if asked in the interview so be prepared you know there will be some learning that you you will gain from every project that you are going so you can talk about that whenever this type of questions will come second is what actions you have taken to overcome that and what did you achieve the project third fourth one is a result you know so basing on the actions how did it impact the dashboard and what were the results that you have seen so remember this four step what was the situation task action and result now seeing this you know uh, in a theoretical way might be quite confusing so let us see a practical example of one one of my situations that i've done like say while i was working at a sales post i was responsible for analyzing customer churn rate for our saas platform now this is giving you a project definition what were the type of project you have worked on and what you were responsible for now even though it is a simple straight one word or one line uh, statement it is setting the stone okay i have worked on this so and so project for our platform second what was the goal the goal was to create a dashboard that identified key contribute uh, key factors contributing to churn and ultimately reducing the churn rate by 10% now here clearly you are telling what is the task or what is the goal of the project that you are trying to do now when you are answering it in this way it shows that how clear you are about your thoughts on the project like say you have you might do n number of projects but we don't know what is the problem statement or what is the goal of the project we will not be able to explain all of this so it is always better to write it down you know when you are defining in a project so that it can help you in explaining okay so situation we have talked about i when while i was working for a sales force or while i was working for cab gemini or while i was working for amazon i was responsible for analyzing retention rate of the customers or employees or high rate of employees like that okay so second task the goal was to create a dashboard that identified key factors contributing to churn and ultimately reducing the churn rate by 10% now what actions did we take to you know do this i combined data from our crm and supporting ticketing system so here what i am doing i am explaining about the data that i am getting 
you know the dashboards that i have prepared and all so i built a tableau dashboard that visualized key metrics like churn rate by customer segment support interactions and product usage etc so here in this section we can talk about some metrics that we have created for our project so that will be your action so we have talked about situation we have talked about task or goal we have talked about the actions that we have taken now what is the result of this so the dashboard helped our customer success team identify high risk customers within three months and churn rate was reduced by 12 percent now you know these days when you speak uh the effectiveness or the impacted results in terms of metrics like this like 10 percent some number random number you are getting 10 percent 12 percent or 50 percent that is more appropriate okay so giving a vague answer is not recommended in today's tough situations okay you have to be very specific at least that is what the standard is telling these days okay so they want to know how much of percentage it has helped so you can talk about some numbers there whenever you are speaking like say we we spoke about 10 percent here and then we spoke about 12 percent here so, so some random number you are giving that is adding value to what you are trying to explain so this is an example answer for you know the star method that we talked about okay so when you are explaining this first identify or highlight your stents see no one will know what are your strengths until you talk about but it does not mean you know you are giving a statement like say i am good in communication how will you tell that you know you are good in communication that's a very vague answer okay so explain your ability like say here in data analysis you can talk about how uh, you have analyzed the data how you have identified the trends and you know have drawn insights from your findings so you can talk about how you have leveraged your excel skills you can talk about how you have leveraged your sql skills to pull the data to understand the customer requirements and design your analysis according to the problem statement next see data analysis is always one core part of tableau or any bi tool you take okay so we have to do data analysis okay so be it your excel you're doing an analysis or be it on you know any other thing that you're doing analysis but we have to do an analysis on our data so that we can build a plat better platform second is tableau skills we need to see we are here to showcase our tableau strength right we are here to attend tableau interviews so we need to showcase our tableau skills so showcase your knowledge of tableau features functions designs you know including you know data blending concepts lod concepts and dashboard designs and all so you so it's like very you no know, uh, i understand you know it includes almost all the critical concepts of tableau but it is required to show your exposure on tableau say we are talking about an experienced person right so not a fresher so it is expected that you are aware of tableau standard design principle okay you are aware of tableau advanced concepts you are aware of you know, tableau functionalities you are aware of tableau features what is you know uh, upcoming or what is new or what is latest you know what is that you feel will be a game changer like that okay so you can leverage that in your description so that interviewer will find attractive okay second is communicate third is communication i mean so demonstrate your ability to communicate complex data stories effectively using visualization and dashboard now here i'm not talking about english communication okay i'm i'm talking about your demonstration of your ability to compare uh, to communicate complex data stories effectively using visualization which means using our tableau standard designs we are communicating what we know or visualizing those complex things okay so that is your third communication point fourth one is problem solving highlight your experience in identifying and solving problems related to data analysis and visualization so like i said there will be no project without you know any 
challenges that you have faced in your project so you can face challenges related to your data pool you can face challenges related to your inconsistency in data okay you can face challenges related to your dashboard design you can face challenges related to tableau features you can face challenges related to your tableau functionality so these are different challenges that we we, we might face in our projects so we need to talk about them okay we also need see just talking about problems will not help right or talking about just challenges will not help what have you done to overcome that okay so there was a challenge in the design how did you overcome that what is the alternate design you have su suggested there was a challenge in the you know feature that customer was expecting okay agreed what is that you have suggested the customer instead of that feature which is not possible as of now so these are the answers that user will be expecting from you when you say you know i have faced challenges so you simply you cannot say you know i have handled large data sets you know and it created a problem no what have you done to solve that problem okay uh, have you you know uh, remove the unwanted data or filtered the data or you have used lod ag aggregations or you have you know optimized your joints or you know you have used views on top of that instead of joints like what are the steps you have taken to solve those issues will be important when you are explaining about the problem solving things okay so so this is my next important thing highlighting your strengths in the interview okay so see now we know what we need to talk okay now we all will write a note that okay star method okay now prepare multiple answers on this okay having one answer will not help because when you keep practicing it we will we will need multiple versions because interviewer might ask you about multiple projects it's not like one project and all okay so practice your star method responses and tailor them specific to the questions you expect now we are doing a reverse engineering here okay so we are getting the interviewer into the area of questions which we can answer right so imagine this as a playground okay so we have to get him into our playground so that we can handle otherwise if you go into his area of expertise it might be different again see when if i am taking an interview the exposure that i have might be different than exposure that you have right now if i start asking about the issues or challenges i face you might answer or you might not be able to answer but with your assume if with your experience with your answers you are making me interested in what you have done which means you are indirectly pulling me into your area of expertise then i will ask only those questions that you are expecting for which you already have answers so you have to plan it tactically so we cannot go blank and just prepare you know and go okay so prepare it thoroughly okay so if you want any tailor made answers for you you can join me okay we can we will work together and we will fix this okay i hope this video has helped you in understanding if it does don't forget to share your valuable feedback in the comment section see you in the interest uh, see you in next video uh, till then bye bye and have a good day